Thank you to Razer for sending us to PAX West 2016 this year. Check out their new Blade Stealth in the video description down below. So we're here after the show after everyone has left to check out the AMD 7th generation APU processors and AM4 motherboards. Super interesting, super cool, but we don't have them here and we have no videos of them either. So we'll be putting up what slides we can and other than that it's just going to be random footage of us at PAX. Now the new AM4 platform supports 7th generation AMD A-series OEM desktops. That's mainly what we're going to be talking about today, although they didn't have information on what OEMs or where you'd be able to buy them. All I was able to figure out was that at the very least HP is going to support this at Costco. As of right now they will support 7th generation processors with a 35 watt and 65 watt TDP with the 65 watt TDP matching up to the performance of previous generation 95 watt TDP processors. They will also support new DDR4 memory with up to 2400 megahertz of speed. This 35 watt and 65 watt TDP split enables you to go for a performance angle or a cool and quiet angle on the platform. Now this is currently OEM only support and theoretically you would be able to install a Zen processor into this AM4 motherboard. I was confirmed with that from AMD. The problem here is that it might not happen because BIOS support would have to be given to you by the OEMs so it's actually rather unlikely. Now AM4 motherboards will come with a stack of different chipsets. For small 4 factor you'll have AMD X, B or A300 chipsets. For the essential like workstation PCs you'll have AMD A320 chipsets. And then once you start getting into mainstream a little bit higher performance stuff you'll have AMD B350s. Now for enthusiast chipsets we don't actually have the name of the chipset yet but we'll have to wait till probably the Zen launch to get that. Other features that they're currently calling out are PCIe Gen 3. USB 3.1 Gen 2, NVMe support, and SATA Express. There is also a huge list of processors that support AM4 motherboards, and they range from about 2 cores to 4 cores, boost clocks of 3.4 GHz to 4.2 GHz. On the graphics side of things, you got Radeon R5 up to Radeon R7, with GPU CUs from 6 all the way up to 8, and clock speeds of about 847 up to 1108. Now for those of you that have been excited for Zen, this is very interesting. This is the groundwork that is being laid out for the Zen architecture. We need that AM4 platform support. And what's cool is that these OEMs are going to be rolling this out and sort of beta testing it for us. Any problems that come up with the AM4 platform will be found before Zen launches and that's really cool. If you thought this was interesting and have anything to comment about it, let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter at Linus Tech. Also, thanks to Razer for sending us to PAX West 2016 this year. We're doing a huge giveaway with them because we just passed 3 million freaking subscribers. We're giving a new Razer Blade and a new Razer Blade Stealth to awesome, super high performance Ultrabooks. So click that video description link down below. Edsel Yago made custom art to be etched into the laptops. Looks amazing. Check it out. Stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips to see all the rest of our PAX West 2016 content, and I'll see you next time.